Hello guys, new video, Swedish 24 hour meal combat edition, menu number one, dinner. As you have probably seen in the past two videos, which was unboxing and lunch, uh, you've seen what, what the bag contains and this is the last video for the dinner. The one combat edition 24 hour meal I've acquired has two courses, that is lunch and dinner. So this is dinner. In this video you will see what delicious things Swedish dudes have prepared for us. But first of all, hygiene. Let's hygiene us up. This is really strong, so if you have some uh, small uh, wounds on your hands, this will uh, be burning. Strong alcohol, toilet. Okay. Next things next. Let's prepare coffee. Let's prepare coffee so it can cool down. Coffee, standard instant coffee like Nescafe or your local instant cafe. Absolutely no differences. As you can see. Okay, what you, what you got left is the main meal. The dinner main meal. It is vegetarian conchilia pasta with beans. The previous video, sh uh, uh, in, in previous video, I've, I have shown uh, the main lunch, main the main uh, main meal for the lunch. It was vegetarian spicy pasta with beans. This is somewhat different. This is conchilia pasta. We'll see what the difference is. Also, we've got squeezed peanut butter. It is peanut butter, but the problem is we didn't get any bread or uh, nothing of that sort that I could put the peanut butter on and then eat it. I mean, I can put it on this Cornisibas uh, cakes, biscuits, but oat biscuits and peanut butter are, I don't know, it doesn't sound like a good combination to me. Also, there is cereal bar. Caramel cereal bar. Well, maybe we could put it on. We'll see it later. And chewing gums. One downside of this uh, of this uh, Swedish 24-hour meal combat edition is you get only one juice. So if you drink your juice for lunch, you will be left with only with one coffee for the dinner. And if you drink two coffees for the lunch, you will be hyped as you know, we're, we're, we're very awake and you'll then get the juice for the dinner, but I don't know what's the point of drinking two coffees for lunch. Also, I've noticed that there, there is no spoon, so if you are in the field without your personal kit, you won't be able to eat the meals because there is no spoon and also no salt. We've got, uh, we got uh, hot sauce, paprika hot sauce, but we didn't get a salt, so that's maybe for somebody a little, little downside. Also, you must be aware that Swedish 24-hour meal combat edition kit does not, uh, does, uh, does not have a um, flameless ration heater or any kind of ration heater, so I had to heat up my dinner at home before. Now let's go, let's see how is this. Vegetarian pasta like. Again my again my funny uh, funny again here it is my funny plate with the uh, with the uh, flour. I hope you liked it from the last, last video. Let's open it up. The package is Pretty much like American package for MREs, uh, with the difference that it's very bright colored. It's brightly red, 
metallic glowing. It's really cool. I like it. Easy to peel it off. And let's pour the contents. Ooh! This went well. Okay. We have everything out now. Just a second. Here it is, conchilia pasta. I guess the conchilia uh, is this type of of pieces of pasta because the regular pasta was like stripes in the last meal, and I guess this is the the main difference. And also there are no beans, but I must say the smell is identical, and the other ingredients are also identical. Some part of Paprika, red and green, and uh, sauce. Oops. Well, let's try it. Slightly disappointed. Why? This meal has those, you know, MRE kind of, American MRE kind of taste. Plasticky and strange. I hoped if I heated it up, it will be better. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. For, for some reason, the main meal for lunch came in the same package, it all came from the same box and uh, it had much better taste, it tasted natural, home cooked and this one tastes more like, you know, your regular MRE pasta with something, American MRE and I'm slightly disappointed in this Yep. I mean, things are consistent, you know, it's, it, it's like it's not too, too soft, not too hard, not too gummy. Pasta is pre-cooked just fine. And there are also some little beans here. And everything seems okay, even the color is nice, but the taste is just not so good like the one I had for lunch lunch wins definitely and also there is no bread, no bread sticks, no cake, no crackers you know like salted crackers that I could save maybe the meal with you know if I had some crackers with uh, I don't know, cheese bread I could, I could um, hide the taste of this with it for, you know, while I'm eating. But this really tastes exactly like, you know, American MRE pasta that was staying for too long in some warehouse. Okay, let's move on. This is dessert. We have Corne Sivas Haver Kicks Oat Biscuits. We have Oat Biscuits, let's see them. They are slightly broken, but it's okay. I'll manage to cope with it. Oppa. 
Well, we got six of them. And only one is... Actually, four of them. Actually, six of them, I think, but I cannot say how many because they are they're destroyed. They're good. They're nice. Maybe we will be even nicer that they weren't destroyed. And now let's try the squeezed peanut butter. Let's try to put it on. Oh Christ. Well now for the peanut for the peanut butter lovers. This Swedish peanut butter is much softer, it's not so chewy as American counterpart. And it suits me better because it's much more, you know, like it does not stick to the teeth and the tongue and it goes out pretty much easier than the American peanut butter. The taste is pretty much the same, except, you know, it's softer, it's easier to eat. These old cookies are okay, nothing special. American ones are better. Sweeter. These are not as sweet as American. They are milled, lightly milled. Okay, sorry for the mess, but it is the necessary mess. Okay, here it is, cereal bar with caramel. This is a standard energy bar. It looks like a lot of like a corny bar that you can get at your 7-Eleven. Let's see. Again, nothing special. Sweet, nice. I guess you can buy these at your, your, your local store under the different names. I've eaten it a lot of times myself but under the different names of course a lot of cereals that are brought together by caramel I suppose a lot of sugar a lot of energy in this one it's a good thing oh no nice one And at, at the end, V6 dental white peppermint chewing gums. I've had them also in the lunch video, and uh, as you could see, I was much happier with these ones than with those I got in American MREs. Um, they look, they taste and look a lot, a lot like orbits, and they are actually pretty good. Coffee. Now it's cooled, cooled it down. Coffee like coffee. You, you can't miss with it when you are assembling the MRE. Well guys,
to conclude to conclude this video lunch was okay design is okay injuries are okay the only uh, disappointment was the main course for dinner I still can't believe that they've managed to have a, such a misfire. I mean, you, you make such a good lunch and then um, you do the dinner and dinner is like, well, not good. They really could go without those, you know, warehouse tasters, if you know what I mean. But all in all, the whole experience of the Swedish 24-hour combat meal is pretty good. Somewhat different and, uh, and definitely refreshing from usual American MREs I'm used to review. Soon we'll have a Croatian MRE, so please, if you like the videos and the reviews, stay tuned, subscribe and see you soon.